Oh, good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you, my friends? Good evening. I'm fine. Great, excellent. Thank you. I was afraid I was going to have a lot of, um, you know, listeners tonight. So what happens, I said. All right. So, but thank you very much for joining. Good evening. Here. Good evening. Good evening. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, how was your Teacher. weekend? Teacher. Yes. Tell me. I, I'm working right now. Okay. If I don't answer, it's for that. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Right. So, uh, if you can participate, okay. just let me know. All right. As well. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. All definitely. Right. All right, excellent. So, well, whose microphone is that one? We will see right now. Mm -hmm. It went silent out of a student. All right, well, excellent. So, welcome everybody who is here. So, I just want to say good evening to uh, Cesar, George, Ingrid, Jose Alejandro, Juan David, Neely, Nelson, Norma, Rene, Roberto, um, Ronald, Senia, and Patricia, right, who's joining the class right now, all right? So thank you very much for being here. I truly appreciate that, your punctuality, right? So let's just start practicing right now. So you see here, in uh, taking advantage of the time, the screen is being shared. Excellent, thank you, thank you. Okay, very good. So, you know, as in every class, I like to start the class by, you know, practicing a short tongue twister. So this is going to help you to activate right now your English skills, right? So the one for tonight is going to be very simple. Let's see. Oops. There you go on this one. There you go. Oops. We go with the like review here. This is the one. All right. So yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. That's going to be the one for tonight. Easy. One more time. All right. So, yes. All right. So, it's like a lot of listeners tonight, people. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could be a listener, too. All right. So, let's see. A yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thick, say it quick. Who's my first volunteer here? Uh -huh. Let's see. What's going to be this one? Thank you. All right, George, go ahead. Oh, Yellow. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Easy, easy, easy. Good job. Congratulations. Amazing job as usual. All right. So let's see who's my next volunteer. All right. All right. Come on. Easy, easy, easy. You know what, George? Maybe you can give me a hand with that one. Who's the next person, George? Wow. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Rene. Okay, Rene, you're going to be the first one. Then I can see Roberto as well. Rene, go ahead. Thank you, George. Uh -huh. uh, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, blood, blood, bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Thank you very much. That was actually nice and easy. All right. So, Roberto, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, it's pretty thick, say it quick. Amazing, my friend. That's actually good. Good, good. All right. Uh, who's the next one? Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Who's the next one? Next one. No volunteers. No problem. We can fix that one right now. All right. Oh, thank you, Millie. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spray thick, say quick. There you go. Excellent. So to, to, tonight's Stone Twister doesn't have too many arts. All right. So let's see. What's easier? Uh-huh. Next one. Come on, people. This is easy. All right. Ingrid, Jose, Juan David, uh -huh. Patricia, Ronald, Senia. Who's going to be the next one? Alicia could be the next one also, too. Caesar. Okay, Caesar. Okay. Uh, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black, black bread, bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Okay, Caesar. I'm afraid you're having issues with the microphone because we couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yellow butter, 
purple, jelly, red, jam, black, breast, pretty thick, say it quick. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. So, Cesar, please tell me who's going to be the next person. Uh, let me see. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Alicia. Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Alicia, Alicia. Oh, listen there. No me acuerdo. I don't remember this. Well, let's see. From the ones who have here. Okay. Um, oh, I have the two Patricias here as well. Ah, I saw my volunteer here, Ingrid. We Ingrid, what happened, Ingrid? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. It's brandy thing. Say it quick. Thank you. You see, that was easy. You guys were not, um, you know, able to participate. So let's see. All right. Thank you very much in this one. So I really appreciate your participation in this quick activity. That was just easy but it's for you to activate your English skills, right? So let's now with, uh, go with the next one, which is going to be here a review, 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 review. All right. Remember that we were just talking about past progressive during the last class. So we are going to see where we can actually uh, add this conversation correctly. So for this one, everybody, um, well, can someone help me send in the screenshot or if no one can, I'll do it, all right? Can someone help me with the screenshot to the group, please? Thank you very much. All right, awesome. So. And uh, because we are going to go to the breakout room so we can solve this actually, so you will have more time to do it. It's going to be past progressive, remember. So, for example, for example, for example, in this one right here, she, uh huh. What about this one right here? Oh, by the way, this one, what happens right here? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the verb, so you need to actually guess what's the correct verb. That's my favorite activity. You have to guess also the verb. Okay, she, she was riding her bike. Uh-huh, exactly. So she was riding her bike. I guess it says her bike there, right? Yes. All right, so she was riding her bike, all right, when she broke. Broke. Or has broke. I will say um, broke because it's simple past, all right? So broke her leg. All right. Excellent. And that's basically what you have to do. All right. With the rest of them. So to analyze, and as I said before, in this activity, we don't have the verb. Normally, uh, there is a verb in parentheses at the end of the sentence telling you what is the verb. But in this one, you have to read and analyze what is the best verb that fits and completes the sentence right here. All right. Is it clear, my friends? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So let me just go ahead and stop sharing here so I can go to the breakout rooms. And let's see. There you go, excellent. So the rooms have been created, all right, people. So let's see here. If anybody is alone or with a listener or, you know, because I have too many listeners tonight. So if I have a group only of listeners, so let me know so I can move you, all right? So, well, everybody, please access to your breakout room. Go ahead. Mm. Oh. Patricia, I'm going to move you. Very good. So then the listeners are going to, you can stay here. Thank you. All right. So I'm just going to access to a different room to see how they are doing. Oh. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's gonna try with the number two. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about uh what do you think that uh, the first word? My, my mom was cooking. Was cooking the dinner? Well I was I saw or I watch. I watch. I watch I watch TV. Okay. <laughs> And number three, uh, they were playing soccer. They were playing soccer? They was playing. No, they was, no. No, 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 no. no. They were, they were. They were, they were, they were. They were. Yeah. Remember, yes. there are many people, they, are, they, they were. They were. They were playing soccer? Playing. Playing soccer. While while I made exercise. Is it correct, JJ? Mm, number so, three. Three. It says they number were playing three. soccer. Yes. While I was doing mm -hmm. exercise. Made exercise? No, no make. Doing. No. Doing. Oh. Doing, doing, doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the first is playing. Yes. Or played. No. Yes. Okay. Let, let me give you let me give you a tip. All right. Let me give you a tip. So when okay. you see when you see the word when, it means that one of the sentences is going to be in simple past. Uh -huh. Right. So for example, here uh, the sentence was. Um, she was riding her bike when she broke her leg. So, mm -hmm. aquí va el ing, right? Just to say something, y aquí va el past, mm -hmm. right? Like that one. Uh, so, the same happens right here. But when you see while in the sentences, it means that you are going to use ing and ing. ing. Ah, the same. Uh -huh, exactly. Understand? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Great. Excellent. So, yes. Now let's see. Thank you so much. Katie. You're very welcome. Let me clear Thank everything. So okay, so Play. Watch. Okay. Keep going. The number four. The four. In the same. It where. Is more. Hi. Mm. The bear. I don't have any idea about the number four. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know the 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 talking about. <laughs> it's, but it. Where? It's. Necesito ver. <laughs> All right, excellent. So it goes uh, like this one, my friends. All right, so for example, mira, here I'll tell you what happens, right? You might be, you might be saying like, I don't know what is the context right here, but if it actually has it here and uh, talk about this morning, I will give you my idea, okay? My, okay, my, but what is it? Okay. So it says, for example, it was raining when I woke up this morning. Understood? So like, for example, it says here, uh, it was raining, right? All right, when I woke up, sorry. I, All right, when I woke up this morning. That's just my idea, right? But remember that this one, as I said before. All right, is... then um, um, another example, when I, mm -hmm. I went to school this, this morning. morning. When uh -huh. I went to school this morning or when I yeah. went to work this morning or, uh -huh. so like that one. That's your creativity. Mm -hmm. 
I confuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's fine. <laughs> you can continue now with the number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. When my dad mm -hmm. was, was going, going home. Uh-huh. Um, when my dad was going home. Mm -hmm. We drive, drive. No, no. No, no, no. We ate dinner. We had dinner. We had dinner. Remember that is a in pa in Paris. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aunque. Mm, Yo me quedaría que like, like after when normally goes with simple past. Así mm -hmm. que sería when my dad. Morning. How do you say llegó a la casa? Mm -hmm. Doing. Uh -uh. When my dad. When my dad came home, uh -huh. we were dinner. We were having dinner. We were having dinner, okay. Uh -huh. Came. Came home. Came home, all right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so you see, exactly. Remember, it's part of the tip that I told you before, right? So looking at this, like, eh, normally cuando va when, go with simple past, remember. Let's see, number six. Number six, number six. Uh-huh. All right, guys, I'm going to go to a different breakout room because somebody is calling me, okay? If you yeah. have questions, you can also call me. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you for participating actively, right? Hi. Let's see what number is it. Okay. okay. Um, my friends I had a bad dream <gasps> I had a bad dream while when, I was when the shower. we can use a, a lot of verbs right because of course of, <laughs> of course <laughs> this is for, you, know, this is for you to use your creativity room. here uh -huh. Sleeping or lying can be possible both. On oh, which one? Sleeping on the sofa or lying on the sofa? Both are gonna be okay. Maybe sleeping mm -hmm. in the sofa mm -hmm. because uh, it's a dream, bad dream. <laughs> Could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was swimming. He was, was swimming, swimming when the shark uh, attacked. No, I don't know how do you say attack. Attack her. When yeah. Attack her. her. Yes. Attack okay. her. Bite. That's another way to say it, of course. Beat. But mm -hmm. if he is talking about like uh, la mordió, what would be like bite or beat? <clears throat> Mm? In past, with her, yes. B I T, bit. In the number nine, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can actually go like this one. With her, mm -hmm. with her or attack her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the shark okay they were they saw a dog while they were walking walking they saw mm -hmm. A dog while they they were 
walking. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Beso. But they saw to a dog. It's okay to a dog. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't It's like, um, how do you say Walking the dog. Uh -huh. Maybe in the Finnish can be while they were walking, but I don't know what is the first verb. Walking to a dog. They what? So they, a dog? No. No, no because. A, there, there is a two, mm -hmm. the, the word two. So I don't know. Maybe in the Finnish can be they were, uh, they were, well, no, they were walking. Mm -hmm. Well, in, walking. In the first, I don't the know. First. What ah. <laughs> well, can I say? A un perrito, no sé. They, they said, como alimentar de. They fed to a dog. Yeah, but uh -huh. it has the two was... right there. Huh? There, there is a two over there. All right. Yeah, that's a problem, right? Borremos. Uh, <laughs> uh, impossible. <laughs> impossible. Impossible. <laughs> to a dog. They, they. Took care. Ah, yeah. they took care to a dog. Mm -mm. You can no. say, for example, they were giving food to mm -hmm. a dog. They were, um, you know, looking to a dog, right? So oh, we have to use ing there. Yes, because as I said before, oh, let me give you a tip. Every time you see while, it means that both sentences are going to be with ing. But it's not necessary in the end. Can be in the first place. It, it, I mean, it's either or because in this case, both of them have to be with ing. Mm -hmm. Yes, when you see when, one of the uh, sentences has to be in past. Then you will decide that based on what it makes more sense, of course, right? But when you see mm -hmm. while, both of them are going to be with ing. Um, okay. I guess we have zero. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, I think that just one of them. Uh, you didn't apply mm -hmm. that correctly then. Mm -hmm. So it's, they were feeding to a dog. Mm -hmm. While they were While. walking, for example, things like that. Okay. They were. Mm -hmm. They were mm. walking. They were talking. They were checking the phone, etc. Yeah, I Every night you kill us. <laughs> I got the best pretty, pretty sad, you know. <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness. You're supposed to say, you know, I'm so motivated after your class, you know, like <laughs> sad. Okay. I go to bed pretty pretty sad every night when I have classes with you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right. So that makes me feel actually okay. really sad too. <laughs> I need to study a little bit more, right? That's actually how I motivate my students, right? By challenge them. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, I, I, 
I catch no. I catch it. it. I was catching a lot of fish. I catch a lot of fish while I I was fishing. Well, I oh or I attracted a lot of fish while I was fishing. I would say I caught. I was cutting a lot of fish. But, but you have to have to be ing because it it's why. I was cutting. Uh -huh. I was cutting a lot of fish while I was listening to music, for example. I was. A lot of fish. Remember that the word fish, it's, I mean, the, the, the plural is the same as the singular, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was listening. Oh no. Oh my god. What oh, happens here? She she was you she went was, uh -uh, no. remember that after the when you normally use simple past. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He went to the mall when she met her friend. For example, maybe met, maybe saw, maybe heard, maybe listened to, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. When is when uh, no lleva was? No, it's simple past. Uh, just simple past, both. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So we're going to stop right here. I want to to chat like what my students have created here. All right. So mm -hmm. let's see. Time to go back to the main session, my friends, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent, everybody. Welcome back to the main session. So we are going to review this right now. So this is an easy exercise, right? So yes, people, yeah, that was an easy exercise. I consider you guys need actually harder exercises because these ones are too basic for you. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, excellent. So here we have this one. So remember, as I said before, the answers might be different from e each of you, since this is just basically um, based on your creativity, of course, right? So now tell me here, let's see, uh, who wants to help me with number two? Number two, number two? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Who is it? Roberto, go ahead. Okay, uh, my mom was cooking the dinner while I was watching TV. That's actually perfect, right? That fits perfectly good on that one. Thank you, my friend. All right, so what is going to be like number three? Number three, number three. Uh huh. Who is it? Number three, number three. They were, were playing poker. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do it, do it. Okay. Go ahead, sister. Maybe he's going to help me with number they, three. They were playing soccer while I was making exercise. You know, that was almost perfect. The only thing you have to check, change, right? It will be, instead of making exercise, he'll be doing exercise. Doing, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Making. So, you, said, you said making. Actually, it's doing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. All right, excellent. So, Mili, number four. Uh -huh. It rained. Thank you. Yes, Somebody's dog is angry, huh? All right, so go ahead. Mili Mili, number four. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was it was raining when I woke up this morning or oh my god, it's that fine. is it's exactly fine. the correct answer. All right, so George, you want to say something on that one? No, 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 that's fine. All right, that's, yeah. That's the answer. 
that's the answer, all right? And you know, believe it or not, really, that was exactly the same example I was giving to a different group. The same example, right? So good job, good job, good job on that one. Thank you. Hey, George, would you mind helping us with number five? Sure. When my dad was driving home, we were having dinner. All right, excellent. So, well, there's one thing I would like to point out there. Remember, when we have when, one of the sentences is actually in past. All right, so okay. which one? And normally, it's the one followed by when. So, when my dad, you can use the same verb, just put it in simple past. Drop. All right, drop home. Uh -huh. We, and then go we were having dinner. dinner. Perfect, exactly. Thank you very much. That's the key here, right? Remember, when you see while, both sentences are going to be in IN with like past continuous, let's say. When you see when, okay. one of them is going to be with simple past. But thank you. That was also an amazing example. Let's see. Okay. Next one. I can see there. Oh, hello. The, the Patricias are here. Yes. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> what? Number? Uh, I guess it's number six. six. Uh huh. Okay. I was uh, doing my homework uh, while my sister were putting, was, pardon, sorry, was putting on her shoes. Was putting on her shoes, all right? That's actually the correct one, thank you. Bueno trabajo, all right, so good, good, good. It says next one right here. Renee, thank you, go ahead. Uh, number seven is? Correct, correct. Uh, the students uh, was playing in the yard when the bell uh, rang. You know, we have to check no, the okay. verb to be in here because it's the students, so it's plural. Where? Exactly. No, okay. Where? So the students? They were playing in the yard when the bell rang. There you go. Exactly. Thank you very much. Right? Do we have this uh, Patricia also? What is Patricia here? Patricia Garcia is it, right? Yay, she's here. Go ahead. Patricia, Patricia. Or she lives in there. Jesus. Sandra Elizabeth. Oh, I got it. I understand, Patricia, no worries. All right, so let's see. What's the next one? Ingrid. Irma. Mm -hmm. Come on, people. That's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you, Patricia, again for being the volunteer. I'm not sure, but I think is I had a bad dream while I was taking a nap on the sofa. That could be a, a good Fine. example that fits perfectly there, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. That happens because you were taking a nap on the sofa. Actually, okay. there you go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Who's next one right here? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Millie again. Thank you, Millie. Appreciate your efforts. I'm a little bit confused now, teacher. Why? Because you told us that when we have while both sentences are with ing, mm -hmm. and then the the number eight. Can I say I was having a bad dream? Yes, of course. Can I say I had a bad dream? That will be okay, but the only thing we will have to change will be the word while for when. You got it? Okay, I was having a bad dream. Mm -hmm. If you because just because we have while, right? So, but you change while for when, and you can perfectly have it in simple past. I had a bad dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can okay. we move to number nine? Okay, she was swimming uh -huh. when the shark attacked her. Attacked her. All right, very good. Excellent. So that's actually fine. All right, what about the next one? Next one, next one will be, Roberto, can you participate now? Sure. All right, go ahead. 
Number 10. Correct. Okay. They were uh, feeding the dog while they were cooking dinner. Cooking dinner. That makes sense as well. All right. So good, good, good. Thank you. What about number 11? George, would you mind giving me a hand again? Sure. Let me see. Sure. I was buying a lot of fish mm -hmm. while I received a phone call. Remember, George, what happens when we have while? Well, I was receiving a phone call. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, All right? So that's actually nice as well. And the last one, eh, let me see. Who can help me with this one? Cesar, Alicia, um, Senia. Okay. She Cesar, was okay. going to, she was driving to the mall when she met her friend. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. Thank you, my friends. That was actually very good. I know this has been a little bit challenging because it doesn't have exactly the verb you were going to use, but that's actually how you can also use your creativity, right, to uh, find the best verb to make sense on the sentences. And you guys have been doing an amazing job. Congratulations. Now, let's see. It's time for a listening exercise. So let's pay attention to this exercise, my friends, right here. We are going to be listening to news broadcasts about three different events. So do the stories have a happy ending? Take notes about each event. And you guys are going to be actually talking about this one. Where did it happen? When did it happen? And of course, what happens? What's this the news about? All right, what the news about? All right, so let's just check this one. Let me just, oh, do you have questions about what we are going to do right now? Just basically listen, pay attention and tell me when, where, and what happened, all right? Let's see here. There you go. Let me check some. Okay. Here you go. Page 24, exercise 5. Listening. In the news. Part A. Listen to three news stories. Number the pictures from 1 to 3. There is one extra picture. 1. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. 2. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Three. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Interesting. All right, did you get the, the, the answers or you want me to repeat it one more time? One more time, please. Sure, no problem. Let me just... Let me just... One to three. One extra picture. Okay, there you go. One. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two. 
Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. 3. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, very good. So you have the answers now? Or you want yes. to listen to it one more time? You're fine. Okay, cool. All right. So let's see. Who can help me with the first new? Let's just start actually by answering what happened in the first one. All right. So what happened in the first uh, news here? Can you tell me? Who can tell me the answer? Um, a man was seriously injured. Mm -hmm. A snake by a snake by a snake exactly all right so very good excellent when did it happen while he was walking home when he was walking home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right very good excellent and where where uh-huh in thailand Thailand, there you go, excellent. Thank you very much. What a good listening, people. I like it. Congratulations. All right. So, then number two, number two. What happens in number two? What happened? What happens? First of all, what happened? The teenagers disappear. Two girls. Two teenage girls disappeared. Two teenage girls disappeared. Okay. During a trip and a ship. In a ship. Mm -hmm. And what happens later? We're found. Uh, they were found. Uh, I, yeah, but I guess it ha something else happened. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> when they when when they were sleeping in the cabin of the captain. Mm -hmm. the the boat sunk I think sunk I uh -huh. I heard uh close from from Singapore mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. no well they no. said like it was no. actually a, that they were like um I think they coast. were sleeping there when it sank they jumped from the ship and they yeah. they swam they had you know, to the close to the shore and walked. And they the had closest. to walk for for a while. Exactly. All right. So, yeah, the second one was harder, but still you got it. All right. Yeah. So in the last uh, the last one. Um. <laughs> that was funny, actually. Yes. Uh -huh. What happened? The police officer was chasing a thief, a thief. Um, uh -huh. when the car uh went to the river, oh, I don't know how to say that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. after that, the, the thief uh saved them. The thief returned, actually, right? Yes, returned and saved them. And saved, saved them. Uh huh. And then, yes. uh, and then they 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 <laughs> removed the charges. Oh uh, yes. They removed the charges. Imagine they yeah, were chasing him because he was a criminal and they said, like, thank you for helping us. Forget about <laughs> yeah. it. All right. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So, thank you very much, guys, for that one. So, that was actually a good listening from you. All right. So, then let's just go on this one right here. All right. So, everybody, it says here that we work in groups, but we can do it here. All right. And it says, like, we need to match this one. So, it says, match each headline with the beginning of a new story, right? So we have this one right here. So let's see, let's go in number one right here. 
Let's take a look to this one. All right, so illusion or aliens. That's the, the headline, all right, for the news we have to match here. What will be the correct one, what, what the, the correct rest of the news, all right? A, B, C, or D? We cannot see. I can see nothing. Oh my goodness, I do apologize for that one. Let me just do that again. Yes. My bad, excuse me. Yeah. Let me try to reshare my screen. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I'm so sorry for that. All right. So I was saying before we had to match the headline. Remember that those are the headlines, right? One, two, three, and four. And then we have to, with the beginning of the stories that we have right here. So for example, illusion or aliens, right? So what's going to be like the first, I mean, the correct beginning of a new story here? Let it be. Letter B as in boy or letter B as in David? Baby. David, all right. So or can you read it? Uh, a strange a strange light, it lighted it up in the sky as three students were driving home last night. Okay, very good. Excellent. So that's going to be like a strange light. Very good. Like students were driving home last night. So they will be like number one. It goes with letter B. Very good. Number two, what it says, identical twins. Reunited number after 45 years D. apart. What is D? it? Number, number D. D. Letter D. Letter D. Can someone D. help me read it? Dinosaur. Yes. Mm -hmm. can, can you help me read it, please? Ellen and Mary. Uh -huh. Ellen, Ellen and Mary could hardly believe the, uh, their eyes when they saw each other. Let's there you go. Excellent. That's the correct one here. So we have number three right now. So a man receives later mail 50 years ago. My goodness. All right. So what happens? A. Later A. All right. Can someone help me to read it? Mm -hmm. Rick Jones got a surprise when he went to his mailbox last week. There you go. And of course, the last one. So job applicants like yes. safe by being five minutes late all right so yeah yes that one is obviously the letter c right can someone help me to read this one yes. as well please reading reading uh -huh. okay. what is it yes what is it uh, lisa miller is lucky as she was hurrying to the job interview she missed her boss all right, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. Do you have any questions about vocabulary from this activity? No. Nope. Um, no questions? Okay, cool. No problem. So let's just continue here. All right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Okay, okay, excellent. So after you have seen this one, my friends, we're going to go with the last activity here for tonight, which is this one. So you're gonna be writing or creating your own news, all right? So it says uh, right here, let's see. George, would you mind giving me a hand reading the instruction in letter A, please? Sure. Write a new story for one of the headlines in exercise six, or use your own idea. First, answer these questions, then write your article. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. Who was involved? When did it happen? Where also did it happen? How did it happen? Why did it happen? What was the outcome? So what happens at the end? All right. So basically, you are going to create your own story, you know, something short, uh, an attractive headline, right? And then a short a story, a story, right? So uh, is it clear, the activity? Is it clear what you guys are going to be working on? Yes? yes. Great, excellent. So let's just go to the breakout rooms again. All right, so we can actually uh, work on this one. Teacher, yes. teacher. Tell me. N Nelson is working, so I didn't have a, a partner in the last uh, room. Okay, no problem. Let me organize this right now here. Okay. 
All right. You should have said that to me before, so I should have moved you to a different one. Patricia. Okay. Thank All you. right. So, but you were what? Juan David working Mirna, not here, Nelson. Okay. Patricia. Okay. Okay, you were you will be assigned to a different room, so no worries. Also, Nelson, so he can join the room as well, just as listener. Okay. All right, open this, please. And I will sharing the information to the WhatsApp group, okay? Marion, are you going to be able to participate or are you also a listener tonight? Mary, Marion? Hi, I'll be a listener tonight, teacher, sorry. No, no worries, but thank you for confirming. Hello, is anybody here working on the news? Do you have questions? We're, we're, we're thinking about the uh, story. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Okay. Uh, you still have five can... minutes to finish. I I think uh, the the headline should could be uh, none in the hospital in the middle of the night. Uh, uh, Med, med, med student was uh, working on, on on the hospital when he saw uh, a woman at, in the middle of the night walking in the hallway dressing like a nun then when she when when he uh, get near of the of that person disappears okay that's Sounds like a very interesting one. Like paranormal, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. So, elaborate it. Maybe uh, the student uh, sees the woman, the, the, the nun, and she asks for a patient. And next, uh, the very next day, the student goes to information and ask for the patient's name. And over there, they told told they tell him that the patient has been dead for I don't know fifty years, and and it was taking care for a nun. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting, but I'm 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 afraid I cannot uh, listen to you clearly because of your microphone. Okay. Okay. Maybe the better. Uh -huh. Okay. 
maybe the, the non uh, the talks to the student and ask about uh, uh, for a patient. And mm -hmm. the very next day, the student goes to information room and remembers the name of the patient, then asks for the, for the patient's name. And they told them that it has been dead for 50 years and it was a relative for an, of a nun, something like that. I like it. Oh my gosh, guys, you have a really nice creativity. I like it, especially <laughs> for those things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you guys are going to be volunteers. Sure. Sure. Awesome. Uh, we, 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 have to, we have to write it, right? I mean, as long as you tell me, that's okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent, guys. I would just, um, I guess we still have one more one more minute or two more minutes, actually. So we'll visit a different room so we can work on this one. All right. Thank you. Continue this okay, one, people. Thank you. Guys, you guys finished? You're done? everybody welcome back to the main session so let's just do this as soon as possible so we can go back and rest all right so let's see i had some volunteers who were saying that they were going to help me with their new uh with their news i'm sorry right so what was it let's see i remember uh, Caesar. okay yes. go ahead and tell tell the class about your story but remember first the headline uh-huh okay the headline is a nun in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, a med student in a public hospital in Colombia were working on the shift when suddenly in the middle of the night uh, she saw a, a nun walking uh, down the the, half, the the halfway where the patient are and then Cesar continues the story. Okay, uh, next the nun uh, addressed to the student and asked for a patient's location. Uh, the very next day, this student got, goes to the information center and asks for the patient. And they told him, told her, told her that it's been dead for over 50 years and it was relative to a nun. My goodness. So you're talking about something paranormal right here. Good job, guys. I like it. So I really like how you elaborated that one and you were able to assemble everything. Yeah, that's actually good. Thank you very much on this one. All right. Who's going to be the next one? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a you, Patricia. Thank you. I appreciate it. No. <laughs> like, Another no. person, please. <laughs> Oh, well, do you, you still need the ha you still need time for this one? No, no, no. I was trying to to check uh, some words. Okay, well, so you we're gonna close with your story. So check uh, choose somebody else first, but we're gonna close with you. All right. So I the, took notes. Okay, awesome. So in the meantime, perhaps. Uh, let's see who's going to be able to help us with this one. Oh, Millie. Thank you, Millie. Appreciate it. Uh, 
we decide that Renee is going to tell that story, our story. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, the original idea is the for Patricia, but I, I try to explain. Wait, hold her on. Idea. Who's Patricia you're talking about? Patricia Castellanos or the other Patricia Garcia? No, I'm, I'm with George and... Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yes. Okay. Um, this one, Rene, continue. Okay. The number of, of the nails, our story is a blue happiness. Uh -huh. It is about a girl, a girl that uh, find a uh, fifty thousand dollars in a bag in on the bus, and the the girl is very happy in thinking about her future. In she try to to. Uh, develop a uh, uh, thinking in the future and, and, and renounce his job and, and thinking about uh, buy, buy a car and, and change her life. But when the girls uh, go to the banks, the money is false. It's all. Oh my goodness! That sounds like that sounds like a movie. Do you take the news for the news for a movie? No, kind of. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. It's a movie, but it's on a news that that's a fine. small news. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that one. All right. So everybody, now to close the class, we are going to go with Patricia if she is still here. Oh yeah, she is still here. All right. So. <laughs> She can help us to close to finish the activities tonight, Patricia. The class is all yours. Okay, two days ago, but it's a a new a, a real new. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Two two days ago, there were a huge accident in the main street in San Salvador, and um, and the accident was were involving a lot of cars. While cars were waiting to pass in the traffic jam, a truck lost the brakes and the driver couldn't do anything and crash into the wall and raised the rest of the car. A lot of people got hurt. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yeah. You sounded like very, very uh, professional. So that sounds like, you know, you should be working on the news in English also, huh? Very good. Thank you very much in this one. So guys, we're going to stop right here because it's actually time for you to go and rest, all right? And um, I will see you tomorrow. Everybody have a good night. Take care and good job tonight. Thank Super you. good. I like Thank it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye-bye. Have a good night, everybody. Have nice. a good night. Bye-bye.